See, you gotta stop believing them when they tell you that you're not good enough. You gotta stop believing them when they leave you out and don't include you in the event and you feel like you're not good enough. You gotta stop believing them when they tell you that you don't have enough. You gotta stop believing them when they tell you that you're not smart enough. You gotta stop believing them when they tell you that you don't look good enough. You gotta stop believing them when they tell you that you don't have the right stuff to do it, my friend. As long as you believe it, as long as you're willing to do the work for it, you can do it, my friend. Don't believe them, but instead, make sure you get your energy, 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 energy. It's all about the energy, my friend. Don't believe them, right? This is the most amazing day you'll ever see, my friend. How do you feel? Because I feel amazing. I hear so many people each and every day talk about I'm having a terrible day or I had the worst day. I had a bad day. In my view, having a bad day is impossible. It's impossible for me to have a bad day. Now I have bad moments, but in order for you to have a bad day, that means you need to have devastation every minute of the day. That's impossible. However, when you feel like you have a bad day, it's only because you had bad moments that you continue to fixate on and you feel like you're having a bad day. It's impossible to have a bad day. Stop saying it. That's not your truth. Stop believing it. That's not your truth. You are born to be great, my friend. Everything about you, you just got to believe in it. You got to walk in it, my friend, and you got to get your energy, 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 big, big energy, my friend. Get it up and keep it up, my friend, right? I got a great message for you today, right? You know why you shouldn't believe them when they tell you you're not good enough? Because you are good enough. You just got to do this one thing. You got to do this one thing, my friend. You ever try out for a sports team or something? Even Michael Jordan was cut from his high school team. Ain't that something? The greatest basketball player ever had to go through the pain, through the experience of getting rejected, of getting cut from the very thing that he mastered. So don't you dare quit just because you wasn't successful. Don't you dare quit just because they telling you you're not good enough. All you have to do, my friend, is keep adding value. That's it. Keep adding value, my friend. The value will do it, right? Here's the thing. This is why you gotta stop complaining about what you don't have in life, right? and focus only on what you're not doing to add value to your life. It's all about the value, my friend. Here's the thing. See, when you're disciplined enough to keep adding value to your life, the right opportunities will find you. Always, my friend. And never forget, right? The universe will always Always, not sometimes, always match your efforts wherever you are in the process. So as long as you're willing to be proactive and add value to your life, the universe will match it in every facet of your life. Isn't that exciting, my friend? So you got to stop focusing on the wrong things and make sure you keep the main thing, the main thing. And the main thing here, my friend, is that you are the cream of the crop. You are the head and not the tail. You just got to keep adding value, my friend. And here's three reasons, right? Why you got to keep adding value to your life, right? Number one, here's the thing, right? See, when you keep adding value to your life, you get to benefit off of it, my friend. So here's the thing. When you commit to personal development in all areas of your life, imagine that. You're committed to be the best you possible in every area of your life and continue to develop it. When you commit to that, that's when you add the most value to your life, my friend, right? And number two, everybody want money, right? Everybody want money, including me. We all want money. We need it, right? But here's the thing about money. Money is not the value. No, you are. You're the value. Let me tell you what money is. Money's only paper. Money's only a resource. But here's the thing. It's a resource that's attracted to value. 
So rather than chasing money, chase value and let the money start chasing you. Become more appealing to the money, my friend, by keeping to add value. That's all you gotta do, right? And number three, you gotta develop a greatness mindset. A mind bold enough to believe, right? That developing a growth mindset that puts you in the best possible position to continuously, not sometime, not intermittently, continuously add the most value to your life, my friend. Listen, this thing about life is that you have to create the atmosphere for your life. Yes, we're in this atmosphere of life. We're in the world, but we don't got to be of the world. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. See, these scriptures, you got to stop just using lip service. You just got to stop talking and let your words fall on bad ground. You got to be the change that you want to see in the world, my friend. Take full ownership of your life. You know what ownership means? You do whatever the heck you want to do with it. Stop leasing out your life and leasing out your abilities to other people and they not even paying you no rent, my friend. You're, you're relinquishing it all because your mind is not right. All because you're putting value on things that's not valuable. All because you're promoting everybody else except for yourself. You are the value, my friend, and you were born to be great.